Harry claimed on TV that his family cut me off financially in an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. But Clarence House accounts, published today, show that the Prince of Wales provided the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with a substantial sum. Prince Harry, 36, the sixth in line to the throne, and his American wife Meghan, 39, were supported by his father in the financial year to March 2021. The accounts lump together funding for both of Charles's sons William and Harry and their families, with other expenditure. They show a £1.15 million drop from £5.6 million to £4.5 million compared with the previous year. But confirmation that Charles did continue to support the Sussexes may cast fresh doubt on the reliability of the couple's testimony, following a series of controversial claims that have not always stood up to scrutiny. The exact amount offered by Charles to help Harry and Meghan is not detailed but some reports put it at as much as £3 million. A senior spokesman for Clarence House, London residence for the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, said, as we all remember in January 2020 when the Duke and Duchess announced that they were going to move away from the working royal family, the Duke said that they would work towards becoming financially independent. The Prince of Wales allocated a substantial sum to support them with this transition. That funding ceased in the summer of last year. The couple are now financially independent. His remarks are in sharp contrast to ones Harry made when questioned by US chat show host Oprah and shown in March this year. The Prince claimed he and Meghan had to move from Canada to the Los Angeles home of billionaire film producer Tyler Perry in March 2020 as Charles had ended their funding and they struggled to afford their personal security costs. Harry told Oprah, my family literally cut me off financially. I've got what my mum left me and without that, we would not have been able to do this. I think she saw it coming. I certainly felt her presence throughout this whole process. Questioned about the apparent discrepancy in the remarks the Clarence House spokesman said, I wouldn't acknowledge that they are dramatically different. All I can tell you are the facts. He described the couple's stepping away from senior royal duties as a matter of enormous sadness to the family. But the Prince, Charles, wanted to help make this work, and allocated a substantial sum to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, to help them with that transition. The spokesman added, I betray no confidence when I say they've been very successful in becoming financially independent. His comments came as it emerged that Harry and Meghan have signed a license to stay at Frogmore Cottage, their base on the royal estate at Windsor, only until March next year. They have previously insisted that the five-bedroom house, currently occupied by Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie, her husband Jack Brooksbank and their four-month-old son August, will remain their long-term home for UK visits. There has been speculation that the Sussexes might look elsewhere for a property.